Welcome to a new comparison video between the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. We will compare both devices in 5 categories. Display, performance, camera, design and battery. So watch until the end of this video and find out which phone scored the most category points. Let's start straight away with our review. Let the facts speak. Display. Well, there's not much to say about the screen, so we skip directly to the next category. Of course, we are joking. But since both phones feature the exact same specs, there's really not much to compare. Both the iPhone 12 and its Pro version have a 6.1 inch display with 1170p resolution. The 6.1 inch display therefore measures 15.5 cm diagonally with a pixel density of 460 ppi. And no, Apple did not update the new iPhone with 120Hz refresh rate feature. It still uses 60Hz. I know this is going to be very surprising for some of you, but this is a draw. Performance The iPhone 12 is equipped with Apple's latest A14 Bionic chip. The phone has 4GB RAM and the individual models offer different storage capacities. 64, 128 and 256GB are available. The new chip but only 4GB RAM. Let's see what the 12 Pro has to offer. The phone has 6GB RAM and the individual models offer different storage capacities. 128, 256 and 512GB are available. Storage capacity unfortunately cannot be expanded as it is typically for Apple iPhone devices. So since both phones use the same chip, let's see if more RAM can lead to better results or not. Let's take them into the N22 benchmark and the Geekbench 5 test and find out. The tests are divided into three phases. A performance test of the RAM, a test of how the device is handling two-dimensional graphics and an endurance test of how the device is handling 3D graphics. The second test is from Geekbench. This app will measure the performance of our smartphones in terms of CPU and GPU. So, the Pro was able to perform minimally better in the Geekbench single core category. But the iPhone 12 was able to score better results in the N2 benchmark test and the multi core category. Very surprising results, which show that the performance tests can be a good measure for actual quality but are not always the ideal indicator. Nevertheless, the iPhone 12 was able to outperform its bigger brother and deserved to take home this point. Camera. The iPhone 12 features a dual main camera system, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel wide camera. The front camera's resolution is also 12 megapixel. The iPhone 12 records 4K videos at a maximum of 60 frames. And of course, it has image stabilization for video. For most of you, the camera is probably the main reason to go for the more expensive Pro version. So let's see what the iPhone 12 Pro has to offer. The iPhone 12 Pro has a triple rear camera system, an ultra wide, a wide, and a telephoto camera. All three cameras have a resolution of 12 megapixel. The front camera resolution is also 12 megapixel. The iPhone 12 Pro records 4K videos at a maximum of 60 frames. And of course, it has image stabilization for video. Both phones have good camera systems, but which one is actually the better system? Let's take it to our camera test and let's find out which one does a better job. So, we start by comparing the pictures and daylight conditions. On the first look, there's not much difference between the two. Both take stunning pictures with beautiful color accuracy, lots of details and sharpness. One benefit of the 12 Pro is the better zoom, where its 5-fold zoom photos look more detailed. In nighttime conditions, it gets pretty clear that the LiDAR scanner on the 12 Pro lets it perform better. There's way more grain on the iPhone 12 than on the 12 Pro. Another main advantage of the Pro is the additional telephoto lens. It especially shines when it comes to portrait photography and is a nice feature to have. Moving to the front camera pictures show little to no difference again. Which is not surprising cause they use the same camera. The images are again very detailed and realistic, which is essential what you want from a selfie camera. The iPhone 12 Pro has a 4-fold optical and 10-fold digital zoom. The iPhone 12, on the other hand, only has a 2-fold optical and a 5-fold digital zoom. Okay, so far so good. Now let's switch from photo feature to the video feature to find out which of these two phones takes better videos. What you see and hear is the quality of Apple's iPhone 12 Pro video recording. Set it to the highest possible video quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. What you see and hear is the quality of the Apple iPhone 12 video recording. We set it to the highest possible quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. The sound quality is obviously the same on both phones. But the video quality is a little different. The iPhone 12 Pro is way brighter than the iPhone 12. Let's crop in a bit in post to see what that looks like. As you can see, the quality looks equal. The only difference remains in terms of brightness. Additionally, both phones are able to shoot slow motion videos with up to 240 frames per second in full HD mode. 
Finally, the iPhone 12 Pro was able to show its worth and why it's considered the better version of the iPhone 12. While both phones feature excellent camera systems and produce quality pictures, the Pro version comes with a lot of advantages. Better zoom, an additional telephoto, which is great for portrait pictures, the LiDAR scanner, which lets it perform better in nighttime conditions, and most crucial, the war format are great news for customers interested in photography. Especially, the new possibilities in picture editing should be a good purchase argument. So, this point clearly goes to the iPhone 12 Pro. Design The iPhone 12 Pro has a glossy stainless steel frame, which only the Pro versions have, and a matte glass finish on the back. Typically, for Apple, it has a very high-end look to it. The travel cameras are well positioned on the upper left corner on the back of the phone. The smartphone weighs 187g and it is roughly 14.67cm long. 7.15 cm wide and 0.74 cm deep. It uses Apple's Lightning Connector and it is IP68 rated, so it is water and dust resistant. And it is supposed to be 4 times more drop resistant than previous models. The iPhone uses face recognition technology to unlock the phone. The Face ID as usual works perfect at daylight and also good in a weak light environment. I really like the new flat edges, let's see what the base version looks like. The iPhone 12 has a matte aluminium frame and a glass finish on the back. The dual cameras are well positioned on the upper left corner on the back of the phone. The smartphone weighs 164 gram. Besides that, it features the exact same specs as the iPhone 12 Pro. So, since both phones are from the same lineup and essentially have the same design, Let's keep it short. Both phones look and feel very valuable and overall have a well-rounded design. The better material used on the Pro version gives it an advantage. Its glossy stainless steel frame and matte glass back give it a more premium look than the base version. Besides the material, the main difference is the camera bump, which is of course smaller and comes with one less lens on the base iPhone. But even here, the Pro turns out to be more elegant, as the lenses are framed with stainless steel. So in short, point for the iPhone 12 Pro. Battery. Both phones have 2850 mAh when fully charged. They both have the same battery and chip, so the only thing that could lead to a different result are the bigger RAM and the additional camera and the Pro. So since both have the same hardware components and the same software installed, it doesn't come with any surprise that both phones lasted equally long in our day-to-day -day usage test. They are also both capable of fast charging and fast wireless charging, which make this a draw. Conclusion Time to count the points and find out who's the winner of this comparison between these two Apple iPhones. Let's go! So, there's not much to say about the first category. Both phones feature the exact same display and therefore share this point. In terms of performance, the iPhone 12 surprisingly had the upper hand even though it has less RAM. One point for the base version. Comparing the design of two phones is never an easy task. And this time, they even came from the same lineup. In the end, the 12 Pro had the advantage having more elegant and premium design features. Next up, we are comparing the battery life of the two, featuring the same software and almost the same hardware. It was no surprise that both were able to last the same time. A draw again. This leads us to the final category, the camera system. Here, the iPhone 12 Pro was able to outshine the iPhone 12 by featuring better hardware, software, and finally possibilities for professional picture editing. Summarizing, we got 4 points for the Pro and 3 points for the base version, leading to a final winner called the iPhone 12 Pro. A decision that you have to take on your own though is if a better camera, a bit more RAM and storage capabilities plus some glossy metal and matte glass design features are worth the extra money. Naturally, we review more than these five categories covered here. If you want to see the full comparison, follow the link to our website. You can compare up to seven different smartphones at versus.com. But before you do that, please post your comments and let us know which phone you think ranks first. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care and see you soon.